Um, as far as I know, we were the only team that was uh, seriously engaged throughout the process in the security testing side of things. Um, within 36 hours of the system going live, um, my team had found and exploited a vulnerability that gave us essentially total control of the voting system software. Um, this included the ability to change votes and to reveal voters' secret ballots. Uh, this problem, known technically as a shell injection vulnerability, has to do with the ballot upload procedure in the system. In effect, it allowed us to remotely log into the server as a privileged user. Um, BOE launched the testbed on Tuesday the 28th, and on Wednesday afternoon, we began to exploit this vulnerability to perform a number of demonstration attacks. Um, we did several things. Um, we collected data stored on the server, including crucial secrets such as the database username and password, as well as the key the system used to encrypt ballots for privacy. Uh, we modified all the ballots stored on the system that had already been cast by voters, and we changed the votes so that uh, the votes would be counted for um, candidates we selected. Um, uh, mostly they were evil science fiction robots. Um, <laughs> We also rigged the system uh, to replace any future ballots that were cast in just the same way. Um, we installed a back door that let us view how voters voted together with their names, violating se the secrecy of the ballot. And uh, to show that we had control of the server, we left a calling card, uh, if you will. Um, this was on the confirmation screen that voters uh, get to see after they vote. Um, after 15 seconds, that uh, screen would start playing music, uh, the University of Michigan fight song. This was my student's idea. Um, You're so a funny bunch over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, we're, we're a pretty serious bunch too, but um, uh, we were looking at this exercise as um, a healthy, um, a healthy kind of back and forth between us and uh, the BOE administrators, because um, uh, this is the kind of um, this kind of intrusion is something that they would face in in a real attack if the system went live, and we wanted to give them experience with it. Um, but clearly, stealthiness was not our main objective. Um, uh, otherwise, we wouldn't have played the fight song. Uh, never, nevertheless. Um, um, uh, we didn't immediately announce what we had done. We wanted them to have a chance to exercise, the, the administrators to have a chance to exercise their attack detection and recovery procedures, um, which, which are an essential part of any online voting system. Um, but still, the attack remained active for two business days on, on the site um, uh, from uh, overnight on Wednesday until Friday afternoon when uh, BOE officials took down the testbed server after several testers pointed out the fight song was playing. Um, so a real attack uh, might be completely invisible and could have gone on undetected much, much longer. Um, in fact, other attacks did go undetected. Um, I know this because my team conducted one of them. Uh, since the beginning of the test, my team has been monitoring and controlling uh, routers and switches that are connected to the BOEE pilot network. These are critical pieces of the network infrastructure. Uh, we gained access to this equipment because the ne network administrators who set it up left, um, uh, left a default master password unchanged. Um, uh, this password we were able to look up in the owner's manual for the piece of equipment. Uh, and uh, once, we, uh, once we did, we found it was only a, a four-letter uh, four password. So once we gained control of this equipment, um, we could watch in real time on my desktop in Michigan uh, as the network operators configured and, and tested the equipment. Uh, we could also watch them on camera uh, because we found a pair of security cameras that were in the data center were on the same network as the pilot system and were publicly accessible with uh, no password at all. Um, I have some pictures here of uh, people in the data center. Akima, Ms. Benjamin, could you do me a favor and pick up these <coughs> items? Oh, thank you.